Hey, welcome back. This is episode number three of this tutorial series on Arduino for complete beginners. You can find the series playlist in the description. Let's get started. So you have the Arduino IDE installed and correctly configured on your computer. You can compile and upload the code to your Arduino board. Now let's try to understand how a program works and what is this text that you can see on the screen here. And let's go. When you start your Arduino IDE, you will directly get a new empty program. But as you can see here, in fact, the program is not really empty. It already contains two functions, void setup and void loop. So for any Arduino program you create, this is the minimum code you should have. If one of those functions is missing, you won't be able to compile and upload the code to your Arduino board. And when creating your own program, you will write some code inside each of those functions. This code will then be executed on the Arduino board. So the first thing you can see is that the functions are empty. Okay. So when you run the program, what will happen? So first of all, if you put any instruction here at the beginning of your program, this will be executed and then the void setup function will be executed first. So whatever code you put between those two curly brackets here will be executed first. After it is executed once and only once, the code inside the void loop function will be executed in what we can call an infinite loop. So basically all the code here will be executed and once it is finished, it will be executed again and again and all over again. So first the code in the void setup is executed once and then the code in the void loop is executed an infinite number of time until you simply restart the program or you shut down your Arduino. And inside the function, so inside the void setup, for example, the instructions will be executed line by line. So first line five and then line six, etc. Okay, and the same for the void loop function, all the lines will be executed one by one. And this is also a commented line. So we're going to come back to those functions quite a few times in this course, but basically what you will write inside the void setup function is the code to initialize your program. For example, to initialize variable, to set up a sensor or to set up a communication. So everything that you need to set up at the beginning of your program and that you basically need to set up once. And then in the loop function, you rewrite your application code. So that will be the code that will run all over again until the Arduino board is powered off or restarted. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full complete course on Arduino named Arduino for Beginners. This course contains about seven times more content than the series. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.